Hello, my name is Zay Because. Why? Because. And with everything that's going on in the world right now, I just wanted to take this opportunity to let you know black lives do matter. I work with two black-owned nonprofit foundations. One is Atlanta Children Foundation, and it's there to help foster youth in Atlanta to give them the chance to grow and develop, you know, with that opportunity they deserve. All this marginalized youth needs a chance. I also work with my nonprofit, National Collegiate Entertainers Groups. And we just want to help college students navigate and understand the entertainment industry in a better light and a safe environment. So one of them is nationalceg.org. Again, that's nationalceg.org. The other one is atlantachildrenfoundation.org. Both of these are nonprofit. You can go donate, find out more about it, join the cause, man. I appreciate y'all. Peace. What's up, everybody? This is the One Vibe interview series presented to you by Vibes by Us. I go by Spence, and as always, I'm with the beautiful Marquia Janae. How you doing, mama? Good. How you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. And we're here with Zay because. Yo, yes, yo, what's up, on, Zay? Because, dog? aka doing? Y, because okay. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, how's life been going with the coronavirus? And 2020 been wild. Yeah, man. man it's like. It's been crazy because it allows you the time to sit down for a while, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you know, it shuts things down for a while. So I guess it was good because it allowed me to readjust, kind of pick back up and see where I could really go harder this time and this round with just pursuing everything. But at the same time, it was stuff that I wish I could have, I guess, made my statement more okay. before a lot of stuff even started blowing up. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it was good and bad, but overall, I think it was a blessing for myself personally. Okay. Self reflecting, think about what you can do better. I like that for sure. For sure. Yes, yes, yes. So did you join any of the protests or anything? Oh or yeah. Have you been okay? How um, was that experience? It was crazy. Like the first protest I was a part of, we were at uh, Sugarloaf Mills, okay. and I originally went there just on a whim. Something was just like, yo vibe says go here let's drive here today mm -hmm. um and when i got there i saw like cops everywhere just blocking off the entry you couldn't get in it was just wild and so i just got out it was me and uh my boy nova mm -hmm. and my roommate and we just got out went to go see what was going on i immediately recognized somebody i saw and they were just saying you know no justice no peace and let me know what was up so we just fell in line okay. walked up to the cops and um it was crazy because they made it peaceful like okay we hear y'all mm -hmm. da 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 we went mm -hmm. kept marching but i stayed back and watched and i watched the cop go to his like the trunk of his car bro and then just go to the roof look through a scope and i'm like dog why why does it take that much like that's crazy it's a sniper for what mm -hmm. you know right so that was my experience it felt like a movie yeah. I'm not gonna lie but then it was real and it kind of reminds you of like it was this severe for our ancestors so mm -hmm. it's yeah, real out it here it's, it's really crazy about it for real for real it sounds like you're really in tune with yourself you meditate or anything oh yeah oh yeah i've had to learn like my opportune timing for prayer and meditation um self-reflection i see it all as one but i still kind of separate each little timing that i i dedicate to each part so I definitely practice that. A very spiritual person. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Most definitely. How long you been doing music? Um, all my life, to be honest. I'm I'm one of those industry kids. I grew up with a studio in the basement. Um family did music. So really all my life. But as far as understanding how to navigate professionally mm -hmm. or even taking interest, I wanna say around fourteen. Fourteen. And what sparked that you think? Um, I finally learned how to put a couple of things together. I was a musician. I played drums, keys, okay. learned other instruments, and then I learned how to record. And then I learned how to kind of, you know, put my own poems together, 
learn how to write songs from there. And then as I develop, I just wanted to start performing. I've always kind of been, you know, somebody that loved the stage attention, but I really kind of knew I had a voice and I wanted to use it. Mm -hmm. And I think my first mixtape was like something called Shot for a Dream. It was like a shout out to uh, Martin Luther King because I'm born and raised in Atlanta. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's uh, his house is like right there on Auburn next to Edgewood. So I've seen it growing up. Yeah. I think that was like something that I just was like, yo, I want to use my voice and um, kind of shed light on my viewpoint. So expand on like your type of your genre or your type of music. Like yeah, what would you, you what classify what? your sound as? Mm -hmm. So definitely has that uh, kind of gospel background to it because I grew up in the church um but i really discovered music through jazz i played jazz band um played the drums for jazz band learned how to play xylophone uh there's this thing that if you can do it in marching band or like auxiliary band it's impressive but you play with both mallets in both hands i could do that and that elevated me to want to play keys learn melodies and so like it, it kind of became classical at first but I got introduced to hip hop through Kanye. And from there, I just kind of wanted to blend my sound in the way the way he did his and started meeting a lot of like my influences as I was coming up. So like I worked with um, close ties for people like Tribe, um, De La, just like different influences that I saw that had that true hip hop feel. Mm -hmm. And although I've progressed with time as a producer, as an artist, I always wanted it to be that real hip hop nature. It sounds like you have a pretty extensive music background. So, like, today, out of everybody that's around, who are three artists that you would love to work with and why? Mm. Three artists I would love to work with. Um, well, yeah, Dead or Alive. Yeah. Dead or Alive. Dead or alive. Yeah. So, Dead, of course, Michael Jackson. Okay. okay. Um, that's just something, the way he impacted the world. I would love to work with somebody like that. Absolutely. Um, as far as somebody on a come up or somebody that like is already out there, I'd love to work with Buster Rhymes. That'd be dope. Okay, that's um, I didn't expect that. Yeah, like, it, it's just cause it's like the way he does what he does. I feel like it's really dope yeah. for him it's to crazy. work with the youth. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he's so creative. Yeah, sure. um, and then like somebody of my peers, uh, mm, really? Guap Dad. Guap, Guap Dad, I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan. Go up there at 4,000. He a young young dude from Oakland, but um, he run with like Dreamville, um, a okay. couple people like that, and like he's he's impressed me. So I love to work with him. Okay. Let's okay. Get that into business, for sure. For I sure. appreciate that. So um, what are some studio essentials that you use like to get in your vibe and go to make Man. your music? Has it changed over time? It definitely has, uh, especially being a producer and songwriter first. Mm -hmm. um, I've always came at it from that aspect, so uh, I'd be the one making the beat, and I kind of know where I'd want to go with it. But the more that I developed, then I had to learn to separate the two, um, just with my mentor telling me you got to know when to be the artist, know when to be the producer. As an artist, mm -hmm. um, I really love culture like anything cultural, whether it's my culture or learning of other cultures, mm -hmm. I have to have some type of momentary culture that I bring into the, to the studio vibe. Like whether it was a moment that I was on a road trip and saw something, mm -hmm. I talked to somebody from another country, or I learned more about my own heritage. Like I think those moments is what I build on. So how often do you spend time, you know, researching and diving into that culture? <sighs> <laughs> every day every day um i think i've always not i'm not gonna say always because we all you know are learning but mm -hmm. to a certain degree i don't know when i wasn't aware mm -hmm. or always learning searching yearning so i think i've always been researching myself i just didn't know how to see it in a positive light every time and so I think that was the thing that I learned later in life was you don't always have to see your heritage or history or struggle as a negative thing. And you don't have to see it as isolation. You can truly see a unity with that. That's what you make it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this. If there was any advice you could give to the, the young Zays out there, you know, watching YouTube, watching these rap videos, they want to do what you do someday, what advice would you give them? Man... 
the best advice I could say is like, don't get bothered by nothing. Be steadfast in yourself and your being and like, don't be afraid to let it be, man. Don't, don't, if you, my grandma used to say, if you don't bother it, it won't bother you. And I feel like a lot of people get hindered and stopped in their path because of what they let bother them. Uh, so the best thing I can say is like, roll with it. Don't let it bother you and be about it. Like professionalism is something that I feel like, especially in the black community, we, um, we, when we touch it, we thrive on it. We just need more awareness and knowledge of it. So um, definitely be professional and know your being and be about it. That's really, really the like best thing I could say. So are there any future projects or anything upcoming that we could be looking out for? Or? Most definitely. So I locked in with uh, my team. Uh, shout out Ultimate, my producer. I locked in with him and DJ Rasu. And we um, made an album that I'm working on and getting finished up right now. I have a mixtape series called just because that uh, i just frequently drop like i don't want to say throwaway tracks but just tracks that don't make you know certain projects and so i'm always doing that um always building content on my youtube so follow me you know on that for sure uh just dropped a video called couch potato quarantine style you know what i'm saying okay. so that was something that um i really built off of and realized uh, it's about sitting on the couch right like couch potato I realized that's therapy when you sit on the couch. It is, man. So, it's all right to sit still sometimes. Man. Yeah. Just let that come to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. For sure. So um, right now, I'm really just pushing therapy. Okay. I'll say that's that's my message, motto, and everything I'm doing is about that. I'm pushing therapy. Hmm. So do you have a therapist? I do or? have one that I should visit more often. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, that's what the dude is for. <laughs> you know, but it, I'm not you know, shy about it. As I used to be growing up, uh, you know, I was one of those advanced kids, but it came with that isolation factor. And so it was a lot of times it was struggles with mentality and, you know, intelligence kind of outweighing my maturity. Mm -hmm. So I did have disconnects at points, of course, being black, single mom, stuff happens. Yeah. But as I got older, I uh, really started to see the value of having somebody to talk to. And like we we should value that more there's nothing wrong with you know what i'm saying needing somebody to talk to at all and anything can be therapy mm -hmm. there's two things i believe anything can be therapy and anything can be a drug you feel me so um that's kind of like hand in hand the way you perceive it is how you receive it yeah yeah that. And there you have it from the man himself. That's game right there for real. So, Absolutely. say before you get up out of here, man, we gonna What's run a that? little trivia. You know, we got a few of your favorite artists here. So mm. the way it's gonna work is Marquis and I gonna bounce back and forth, reciting some song lyrics. What's and that? You gotta guess the artist for us. All right. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you first off. If I do mess up, I have been locked in in the studio, so I, I have not been listening. You know hey, the little Wayne theory, but I'm gonna try. Hey, I'm gonna I try because I love these artists. Excuse. Hey, I love these artists, so I'm going to try. Man, he been listening to music all day, every day. I know he has. <laughs> hey, look, life. whole life. Real whole life. I ain't trying to hear it. <laughs> all right. Let's so go. Okay, you can go ahead, Ms. Lex. Okay, I got you. So, street poetry is my everyday, but yo, I got to stop when you trot my way. Mm. Let me know if you need to hear it again, because I'm one, not the One more time. Okay, cool. <laughs> street poetry is my everyday, but yo, I got to stop when you trot my way. I feel like that's Moonchild. You want to take one more guess? I do. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of the style of lyrics and which type of artist. It's an older group. So it's the Beatles. Nope. Not nope. that old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah. Not nah. that old. All right, I'm going to give it to you. It's a tribe called Quest. Oh, man. My mentor going to knock me on the head for that one. <laughs> Relaxation. <sighs> he gonna knock me on the head for that it's one. Okay. That's all good. We just yeah. getting warmed up, man. You got a yeah, chance yeah. to redeem yourself. All right, so let me see. We got. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change. That is deep. Mm. You got this. That one should mm -hmm. definitely be Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Um, right. um, um, man in the mirror. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 yeah see, that 
see, okay, so the next one, and when you're when the brokenhearted people living in the world agree, there will be an answer. That's definitely the Beatles. Yes, um, <laughs> he getting right. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to remember the song. I cannot remember the song, but I know that's the Beatles. Yeah, you're yeah, right it is. for sure. It is. Let it be. That's the name of the song. Let it be. Thank All you. All right, cool, <laughs> cool. So, let me see. I'll be around forever because my skills is tip top. See any amateur nigga that wanna get rock. Cole. Cole. Say Cole. Uh, I f- I can't remember that song either, but um, uh, night. Um, you got it. Eighty five. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Okay. clapping back. That was a good one. All right, well, thank you for joining us. And Man, that was our trivia. It. And we got JP Cuz here. Yes, we got sir. Spence. Yes, sir. All right, Fibers, we'll see y'all later. Appreciate y'all.